Hey, it's Mr. Malte. Today we're looking very briefly at how to write an email. You might think it's a simple thing, but in actuality, a lot of people make some mistakes that we don't want you to make. So let's start out. We're gonna go to Google Classroom. And as I've said before, new tab, you can go to the apps launcher on the right-hand side and Classroom, it's up there. It is also on engaging students. If you just wanna scroll down a bit and hit Classroom right there, either way, Get classroom open and get into the class. Now what I've done, I have bookmarked classroom, my actual classroom class, so I can drag this little lock down onto my bookmarks bar. If you don't see a bookmarks bar, control shift B. <laughs> don't do it a million times, it's tempting. But that shows your bookmarks bar and just grabbing this lock and dragging it down right there, that'll do it. You can also hit the little star that's over here. Um, if you have too many bookmarks or you've never organized your bookmarks, maybe that's something you and your teacher can do. Take some time, I'm right click and deleting those extra ones, but just get it bookmarked, just so it's nice and easy for next time. All right, I've got an assignment called You've Got Mail, which was a delightful movie from the 90s, maybe, with Tom Hanks. Might have been even the 80s, jeez. Okay, so in Classroom, you have your templates over here. Click on your name, get the template open. You've Got Mail. Awesome. Now, sometimes we talk about friendly letters and, and mail, and while email is friendly, please, um, it is not a friendly letter. It's not a letter with extra stuff and description. You know, if you ever hear a teacher say like, show, don't tell, be descriptive in your writing, email is not where that happens. Email is as simple and clear and to the point as possible. Everyone is busy. We don't want a lot of big, long emails because people probably won't read them. So letters are good because they're, you know, on paper, you keep them something long. Email is not for that. It's simple, brief communication. If it's any briefer than an email, that's a quick chat. And sometimes people use email like chat, and there's that's a whole other thing. Like if it's just a simple, hey, what's up? That is chat. That is not email. That's you're texting, you're using Hangouts, but this is more you're asking a question, you need an answer, and it's more formal, right? So here's an example of a received email. Hi, Mrs. Hodge. Would it be possible to meet with you about my math assignment? I don't quite understand question three on page 192. See the attached photo of my work. That's important. It's also my birthday on Friday. Would you mind if I brought in cupcakes for the class? What's your favorite kind? Thanks so much, John. Whew, kind of stumbled there. Now, anytime in Gmail you put see the attached and you don't attach something, like you press send, Gmail will actually say, hey, you put attached and you didn't attach something. So that's a cool thing to know. If you put those words in, the artificial intelligence will say, you didn't attach something. So that's a good thing to put in if you're attaching something. All right, now this is simple to the point. It's asking a question that requires an answer. It's brief. So let's go in here and let's start with our own. Now you might have to pause, and you might have to do some brainstorming. What's your email to your teacher going to be about, All right? So in our subject line, that's where we're typing. Why it's italicized? Typing the teacher's address. Blackgold.ca. You do not need the at g shared up blackgold.ca when you're typing to the teacher. Just FYI. Okay. Now, what's my subject line? Pizza. Uh, how about lunch money? Get rid of that. There we go. Now, there are two things over here, CC and BCC. That's carbon copy. That means if you add any other address, you click that button and you add any other addresses, that'll go to other people, the exact same email. Blind carbon copy would go to Darren Malte, but the other people you're sending it to wouldn't see, if you put BCC and put a bunch of other addresses, those people will not see who else you sent it to. So if you're sending an email to a lot of people, I always, send it to myself and I BCC the big list of people because then people don't use that reply all and we'll talk about reply all later on. But for now, teacher's address, brainstorm, what's your email going to be about? Or maybe it's a, you know, pizza party. Or hopefully it's something more important, you know, like my homework, homework assignment. Um, ah, we'll, keep, we'll keep pizza party for me. Okay, and here's where our actual email is going to go. So that's the subject. That's who it's to, the recipient. Subject, here's your email. And we need a greeting. Now, 
yo, what's up, is not a greeting, but you're using an email to a teacher. It's a little more professional than that. Uh, so you want to know your audience. If it's a teacher, you can be like, hi, whoops. Hi, that's funny. This template has a little flashing box there. It's right in the picture. It's just a little GIF, GIF GIF. I'm gonna cover it up because it's bugging me. I'm just gonna, sorry, it'll take two seconds to do that. All right, where were we? All right, hi, Mrs. Hodge, comma, oop, enter, perfect. Um, notice I did put a comma there. Hi, Mrs. Hodge, comma. Now, what are we asking about pizza party? I was wondering if we could have a pizza party on Friday. I can bring it in pop. <laughs> oh my goodness. If you have another something, anything to, to talk about, um, oh, my mom was also This is the body. Um, keep things like um, punctuation, like tons of exclamation points. Keep it down to a minimum. These days, it's actually pretty normal to have some exclamation points when you're talking to people. Not three, but having one. Uh, it's just one of these things. If you don't, your email can look kind of tense. But this email, we're not going to put any crazy punctuation. Uh, please check your punctuation. If you have any spelling errors, fool. hopefully your program will pick it up. Gmail will give you that little underline and correct your errors. You really want to read your stuff over, make sure you're not missing words. So there's my body. It's very simple. Now, our, our sign off, it's like cool or whatever. You don't want to do that. You want to do something like thank you or all the best or best wishes. That's about it. There's a few other ones, but thanks is fine. <laughs> so it's kind of weird on that. I'm writing to myself. <laughs> I should actually put this. I'm going to change this to Amy's sister, Christine. Christine Hodge, Black Hole. There we go. Okay. Thanks or thanks so much. All the best. All those simple things. It's not too complicated, right? Um, there's some text editing down here. There's your font. There's their size, bold, italics. You don't really need a lot of that stuff. Strike through. There's your send. There's some schedule send things down here. I've got Bitmoji. This little paper clip, that's where you can attach things. So that's a good thing to know, adding links. So if you, you know, sometimes I see, well, you probably don't want to put a lot of links, but if you are sending a link, you can use that little button to link things. There's things from Drive, photos, scheduling, all that sort of stuff. So that's all down there. And that's pretty good. So once you have this created, we're going to go to our actual Gmail program and we're going to send this email. The one thing, when you are replying, if it's ever a lot of people, if you ever see reply to all as an option, almost never, almost never, almost never. Like very, 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 very rarely would you do that. Maybe if it's a small group that things have been sent to, but almost never do you send reply all. And the way to get around that, my friends, is to, if you're sending it to a lot of people, send it to yourself and BCC all the big group. Then people can't reply all. Okay. Once you got your little email ready to go, Notice there's no yo, cool, what's up, lol, all those things, all that jargon kind of stuff. It's not in an email. This is somewhat formal. It's not formal like, dearest Mrs. Hodge. It's not like that, but it's formal enough. It's to your teacher. So it's not, sup, Mrs. Hodge. No, don't do it. So we are ready to go to our actual email now. So you might say it take quite a bit of time. Let's go to our email. New tab and Gmail. Boom. 
boom, look at all those assignments. I'm gonna have to do a video of like how to get rid of email and, and sort it. But we're going to the compose button over in the corner. You can even pop that out. I am gonna do this to <laughs> Darren Malte. I'm gonna do this to myself. Notice it fills that in. Okay, got it. I'm gonna get some notifications that you can just get rid of. Okay. So there's the email. It'll probably fill in if it's your teacher automatically because we're in the Google world. My subject is pizza party. Hi, Mr. Malte. Can we have a pizza party? Mom said that I bring in some healthy juices. <laughs> some healthy juice. There we go. Can you take a look at this math homework? <laughs> I don't know what I have a picture of math homework. I didn't understand. Three. Typing is hard. Thank you. There. Oh. Perfect. Simple. To the point. No extra stuff. Just keep it nice and straightforward. Um, inserting files from Drive, so I can go to my Drive, and I can say, "Yep, yeah, there's my <laughs> math homework." Boom. Uh, I can put photos in. I'm gonna. Ooh, can I upload a photo? Okay, and it looks like this email is ready to go. Got my attachments that I need. I have all this stuff in here. I put an extra picture in, but that was just to show you where, how that works. And I'm ready to press send. So here we go, send. Oh, if it's a presentation, this is kind of cool. Um, I've shared a presentation, but they don't have access. So you could say, boop, yep, I want them to be a viewer of that document. It's a nice little handy thing. So there you go. Good luck sending your emails. Take care.